Extreme thinking. It's learning how to trust what's in your present, this place of right now. Now, to get there requires some practice. One sheet of paper, 10 minutes a day. That's it, just 10 minutes. Write about whatever is moving through your moment of now, but you have to do it without judgment. Stream thinking sharpens your skills as a listener, as a communicator, and as an activator. Learning how to trust what is right now. This is stream thinking. Today we're reading from February 11, 2023. Preparing for expected change without rewriting history that hasn't happened. Oh, God. That's a tough subject. Let me say it again. I'm going to say it slower, though, because I know you do this as well. Preparing for expected change without rewriting history that hasn't happened. This is a giant weakness. Even while trying to sleep, the moving pictures are constantly changing. Like a cloud skating across an open Carolina blue sky, shape-shifting. This is why my daily discipline has got to be a cleared head and a cleared heart. A creative mind is difficult to keep intact. The attempt is always made. But somehow, the mind goes back into the writer's mode. The who, what, where, why, and where's, followed by a huge how, how. Anxiety sets in. The blood pressure is up. Time for the transition. Walking through a forest, universal meditation. Asking the imagination to give to yourself enough room to breathe. Expected change is on the way. Find your peace today. How? How? Right? Transition walks. Let me explain what that is. Every day, my dog Jazzy, the disaster artist, she and I take a transition walk through this forest in South Charlotte, North Carolina. My pastor, Stephen Furtick, we connect, even though we've never had a conversation, but we connect. In a sermon one Sunday, he said, we don't study our transitions. We don't understand them. We run away from them. We, we don't want to be in a moment where we have to figure out why we just transitioned. Now, I've been a daily writer for 29 years. Transitions are something that I write a lot about, 29 years of them. It's taking that moment of who you are now and who you're about to become and understanding that it's not the same person. A good example, this morning when I woke up, I did my daily writing. I do that every day, every day. The transition between the sofa, maybe 25 feet from here, to this studio, I have learned to understand what it is that this person inside this room, this studio, is doing. It's not to self-serve, but to share. But in a matter of hours, I'm going to transition again. I'm going to be at the essential job. I'm going to be in the community. I'm going to be in a place of creating solutions that have nothing to do with me. It has everything to do with real people. You see, in this studio, I imagine people. The essential job, I am with people. Understanding the transitions that each of us go through is an amazing journey, but it's going to take time. Preparing for expected change without rewriting history that hasn't happened. I am very guilty of writing the story and it hasn't even happened. That's me. It's what I do. We all do it. We all sit there and we assume something is going to be played out the way that it is. And we go through a transition here, here, without the event even happening. And then when the event does happen, we go through another transition. And then we wonder why we're pissed off, depressed, why we have grave feelings, why we're always hungry, why we're always reaching for a Red Bull or other things that take your mind. Remember, it doesn't cure you. It only offers an escape. It's time to understand your transitions, preparing for an expected change without writing history that hasn't happened. Know where you are right now. Understand the transition. Understand the intentions. Understand the mindfulness and the gratefulness of where you are. It is so difficult to do this. But when you do, you will find your peace. I'm Arrow, and that's Stream Thinking.